stand held by Apple TV in association with Matt Pitts, Bow with have got British champion Jose Burton on the undercard of Anthony Quality Ishmael Barroso here in Manchester. Congratulations on the win, Jose. Thank Referee you. stopping the fight, Michael Ludwigzak, in no position to continue in the fourth round. How, how do you think your performance was, mate? Um, not as good as it could be. A bit, bit, as you've seen, a bit sloppy, a bit sluggish at times, but the big fight's in three weeks, not tonight. Um, I box a kid who, who had 16, won 13, only been beat off unbeaten uh, opponents. He very rarely gets stopped as well. He's never been stopped. He's never been stopped. Yeah, he's never been me. stopped. He's only, he's only lost for three times, never been stopped. So mm -hmm. to stop him on a on a bad performance like that was was okay. You were switch hitting quite a lot in the southpaw stance as well. Did you feel comfortable? Yeah, I feel uh, something I do in the gym, uh, and because I wasn't sharp on the orthodox, I thought now and again I'll, I'll mm -hmm. just try me yeah. Uh, my southpaw, but southpaw's little uh, left uppercut in the body was working. That left uppercut worked wonders for you in there tonight. What else did you think was working well, mate? Um, left up, I wobbled him in the, was it, I don't know if it was the third or something, wobbled him in the third. That's when he, the first time he went down. Um, he was open for right hands, I could see right hands, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. Mm. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest, because I could, I could have knocked him out in a round or two if I was sharp, but I just wasn't very sharp, as anybody who watches the fight will, will see. What's the reason for that? Do you think you've over-sparred in the build-up to this, over-trained? Why, I just why don't do you know. feel not as sharp? Maybe, maybe because I'm fighting in three weeks and I'm thinking, yeah. this, is, this is the big one, this is a step towards that. Yeah. So just don't get cut. The main thing was don't get cut and don't break my hands. Hands are work? Yeah, hands are fine, no cuts. First, first defence against Tony Dodson. Massive fight for you. Tony Dodson's already held that British title a different weight, so mm -hmm. it's interesting to see how much he's got left and where you're sort of at, at this moment. So it makes yeah. makes for a real good contest. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it'll be an exciting fight. He he'll, he'll bring plenty of fans. Um, I bring my few, and oh. uh, it should be a good fight. I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to that one. Mm. How pleased are you that you're getting regular? Dates because we, people were batting on the, beating on the drum for you to be out more, Joe Gallagher included. So yeah. now things sort of seem to be falling in place for you. How, how Joe, great is that? Joe said, once you get a belt, belt, you're in work. Mm. And I'm in work now because I've got a belt. Do you feel you've served your apprenticeship in boxing before you won this British title? Yeah, well look, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been four years since I was uh, a turn pro. So um, I, I should have really been a British champion two years ago but it's just been slowly, slowly, and, and where I'm at now, and I think, I think it's the right time now, yeah. Would you like to win the British Book belt outright the Lonsdale before yeah, you sort of... Yeah, of course I would, every boxer European. would. And anybody who, who says they wouldn't, they're lying, because everybody would like that belt. Do you see that as a realistic possibility? Is that what you're going to try and do? Of course it is, I'm the best light everywhere in Britain, so why can't I do it? There's only three more fights. Yeah. The Dodson fight, I said, I'm really, really interested on the undercard of Bellew, big, big night. How do you think you'll handle Sort of being the home fighter, but being the away fighter in the amount of sort of traffic and fans. It doesn't around. matter. Look, it's only what is it, 30 mile up the road from me. Yeah. You know, I've been to Liverpool more times. I've been to Manchester Town, so <laughs> you know, it's, it's no difference. Neither here, here, never. Obviously, a quick word on cousin Tyson Fury, Vladimir Klitschko, big fight coming up as well. And what's, have you spoke to Tyson? What's his mood sort of like? Um, not, not spoke to him in a couple of days, but as he is, big happy chappy. Um, doing what he does, he's just out there training now. Yeah. He seems a bit happier now, a bit trimmer as well. Do you think yeah. that's got to do with his happiness, the, the sort of the trick being yeah, a bit yeah, trimmer? Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's losing weight. I don't think he'd be too happy because he'd be on a diet, but yeah. he's probably happy because it's uh, Saturday night. A lot of people are backing Pisco, interestingly enough, this time around. What are your thoughts on that and how, how do you see that fight going? I've already said, I said it loads of times before, Tyson win again. Mm -hmm. um, possibly knockout this time, as Klitschko will try to do something that he's not good at. What Klitschko's good at is standing off, dominating the fight with his jab, jab, hold, mm -hmm. one, two, hold. Now, when he comes out of his comfort zone, he comes at Tyson, that's when he'll get knocked out. I can't wait, I'm interested to see that fight, it's absolutely massive. And, uh, I said I'm interested to see you out in action in Liverpool as well. So congratulations on the win today. Another W to the record, mate. And um, we will catch you hopefully in the build-up to Liverpool. Thank you. Thanks for your time today, Jose, mate. No problem.